see some serious shit. Welcome back again, folks. Step on in for more of that Iron Drum work shit. Excuse that weird ass opening, you know I had to. Now we're back with Sally Showers. We're gonna be doing the torso work. I apologize for not videotaping how I made the nipples on this thing, as you can see here. But that was to take you step by step. How I create big perky nipples on this thing is to take a simple combination of liquid latex and cotton balls and then form and shape the two in whatever shape you want and you can make ridges, grooves, whole, a variety of shit and I wanted to make a nipple bump on this thing. Now I filled in the missing pieces in the breastplate and all around the body for that matter just to fill in the gaps that you see here. Now good thing I didn't need to make it smooth or attractive or at least suckable so I had to make it look like a nipple that's on a rotten female corpse. I also coated the whole thing in a couple layers, maybe one or two of liquid latex, including the nipples. Wait for that thing to dry out, then time for paint. Now the liquid latex I added to the whole body kind of gave it this kind of pale greenish tone to it, so I wanted to extend that further to the rest of the body. Now that the nipples are in place, I have to cover over them. First off with black and then tone it down with some greens and some browns. Now I only covered up some of the chest area in browns and greens because I wanted the black area around the nipple to stay black to resemble a areola that a natural breast will have. So all I did was paint around the area that I wanted to be areola, then blend in some of the greens onto it by dabbing it out. And then blend in the rest of the greens and browns up around the chest plate. Now I'm going to take some acrylic black. This is going to the little cracks and grooves and little slit parts of the chest plate and just color them and add in some detail and basically do some shading and highlight work. And this will give any part you put this in, of course, some depth to make them seem deeper, to make them seem more rich, and it's just give all more tone and detail to the whole entire thing. And you have something like this. Now if you don't want them too dark, too almost cartoony, I guess you can say, you can always blend these out. As soon as you put it on, just blend it out, use your finger to scrape it away to kind of fade it a little bit so it's a lot less deep and dark as these. But from afar, it looks great. And especially since I knew I was going to cover this in more crap like blood and everything like that, I wanted to make sure that these little cracks and grooves and whatever, whatever, had enough depth in them, at least but definitely from afar. And for these little stubby, chunky little leg bits, I believe I use a combination of fabrics along with pantyhose, and then I think I super glued them to the bottom of the torso. Yeah. Now it's time to make heavy, heavy sprinkling of gelatin blood. Now that I think about it, I need to make a video on how I make that stuff. You can actually find it on YouTube already, but yeah, I make one. Yeah, well, I'm just sprinkling it everywhere and anywhere on the body just to give it that disgusting look. And of course, adding it to the eye sockets, the mouth, the big gash in the neck, or lack thereof neck, the stump itself, so those holes, grooves, cuts, anywhere I possibly can. And also, it will come through through the shower curtain to just to make it look even more gorier. Gory is gore, gore, gruesome. With clear wrapping tape, I reinforced and also tied together the shower curtain around the waist and neckline 
Not only is this reinforcement, but this will be the blueprint of where I will place the intestines as you go. I gotta cut an opening in the shower curtain. Why? Since I spent so much time on these gorgeous dead titties, I have to make them show. And also they wanted to be kind of graphic and gruesome at first, and then they gone back into less gruesome, then more bloody, less nudity, no nipples. They didn't know what the fuck they want, but I know what I wanted. And I wanted some nipple slips, dead or not. I've got it. I shall extend the intestines coming from out of the torso stomach, wrapping around the waistline, up and through the titties, around the neck, and upward toward the shower rod, which it will be hanging from. Got it. Now we'll finish this sweet, sweet baby off with some gelatin blood, more than the intestines, around the chest, on the little gimme stump legs, around the arm parts, as well as cutting out some holes for the arm parts, as if they got ripped off while it was coming through the shower curtain. Yeah, maybe, maybe yes, yeah, yeah, whatever. As well as pouring some blood inside the shower curtain, just because why not? Spritz it down with some water because this was in the shower, so of course it'll be wet. And there she is, in full completion, Sally Showers. Thank you so much guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I'm looking to make this a weekly thing, so hopefully my editing gets on point. And if you want to see why I come out weekly with this type of shit, please subscribe for more, you nasty motherfucker. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> please.